And away we go. How are we doing today, everybody? All right, it's travel day. Oh, it feels good, I must say, to get to travel to a race. I love local races. We love local races because we often turn them into staycations for the family uh, where we just go, you know, go get a hotel. The kids can play in the pool. I go race. It's a good time. But it is fun to get to go see new parts of the country, see new parts of the world. So that is what we are up to today. A few, just not, nothing crazy, but a few travel tips for runners. All right. Does that sound good? So I got my suitcases and just like I said, for the Pikes Peak Ascent, tip number one, you all know this, never ever uh, pack your racing gear, actually what you arrive on the starting line with uh, under the airplane, because you know how baggage can get lost uh, through airports, it gets crazy, so always, always pack your racing shoes and your racing singlet and your racing shorts and socks and watch with you uh, in your carry-on bag, which for me, is my camera bag because uh, I do the daily vlog. I put all of my electronics, my computer, my cameras all in this bag. And so the essentials are in this bag because guess what? You can replace, uh, it's not ideal, but you can replace daily trainers in a location. You might not be able to pick up your racing flats that you exactly want for race day um, in a new city that you're not familiar with. So. Uh, and then, okay, real quick, uh, for the sake of humanity, tip number two, I like to travel very, very uh, comfortably, meaning t-shirt, shorts. Uh, now, I don't always travel like this, but two races, I especially if I'm going overseas, like for Amsterdam, I will be in my pajamas, basically. Very comfortable, uh, but I also want to respect humanity, so I have my Hoka slider sandals on, and um, I, lo I love wearing these because you can slip them on and off uh, through security very easily. But come on, people, we're in a, we're in a, a closed cabin airplane. Uh, I don't want anyone else to have to, you know, potentially smell my feet for an eight hour flight across the Atlantic Ocean, even though today's flight to Utah is only an hour and a half. I always wear socks with my uh, Hoka slider sandals. And so that's just another tip there. And then, yes, uh, I am going to try. Uh, wearing and thank you for the tip as far as how to slide these on my legs from yesterday I am gonna wear these out to Utah even though the flight is very short today Definitely for Europe just to help with that circulation through the legs. Oh my goodness compression sleeves so critical um, Now I probably wouldn't wear them the entire way all the way over to Europe because it's what is it? It's uh, well it depends on where you're flying from but um, I would probably wear them for at least half the flight over to Europe and yes, crazy enough, I am going to pack my foam roller because I do have a carry-on bag. Now this is, uh, this is, not, this is a, a great piece of gear, but it's not essential. I won't arrive to the starting line ready to rock and roll with this, so I will put this under the airplane but today. But for Europe, you better believe I'm gonna put this in my carry-on, I have in, in my backpack, it's big enough. And I will try my best when everyone else is sleeping in the middle of the night with the permission of the flight attendants to roll out my legs a little bit on this foam roller heading over to Europe. Um, and then one last point real quick before we start to pack up is that uh, sadly, I somehow misplaced my racing singlet with Seek Beauty, Work Hard, and Love Each Other. I left it in the hotel in Colorado Springs. So somebody in Colorado Springs has a great singlet. Uh, I, I know, I think I hung it over the shower. Anyway, so I will be racing in my John G. I was mispronouncing that yesterday. John G racing singlet uh, because it's so lightweight, feels so good uh, tomorrow. And yes, I am printing another singlet for racing in the future with seek beauty work hard and love each other um okay i think that's it love you guys oh yeah vitamins and minerals if those are critical for you make sure those are in your carry-on as well uh granola bars on uh, my watch um and yes you know my theory on toenail clippers uh clip your toenails a week before your peak races uh but it doesn't hurt to pack this either we gotta get going we gotta get going i've said it I've said it a billion times on this channel. I love running because it's so simple with respect to gear. Imagine having to pack for a triathlon. 
No, thank you. No, thank you. I just don't want to go down that road ever. Like, I just love it. This is all I really need truly to actually get to the starting line and have a great race right here. It's amazing. It blows me away. All right, got, got some water for the car ride. Also a bottle that I can fill up once through security. Important to stay hydrated while we travel. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh my goodness. Something just came through the text messaging and we might be in luck, everybody. We might be in luck. All right, stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh yeah, everybody, look at that. I told you we were working on printing it. I told you we were working on printing it. There it is. Literally, as I was walking out the door, out of my house, I got a text message and uh, hold on, let me, I'm in the car now. Uh, so got a text message saying it's done. And if it would have been 10 minutes later, I would have missed the gentleman who uh, does the printing. So that was amazing. And now we've got the singlet. I'll do a little trim trim with the scissors at the airport. Oh man, that's exciting. Oh, it's meant to be, it was meant to be. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, and as we get rolling here, question of the day, you better believe it. What is your number one travel tip for races uh, when you have to get on an airplane, okay? You can think about packing, think about actually on the airplane. We can talk about domestic flights and international flights. Um, you can talk about security. For example, I would be curious what like track spikes, you probably have to take the spikes out of your tracks, your track spikes, right? And put them, I don't know, maybe under the airplane. I actually don't even know because it's been so long since I traveled on a plane with track spikes. That's a good, interesting scenario to think about. But anyway, that's the question of the day. And uh, we're gonna go with good old airplane for the keyword. All right, onward and upward. Another quick travel tip is take a picture of your parking spot. That's right, A13, there it is. Oh man, I learned, I learned that the hard way one time. It took me like a good hour to find my car. Not fun, not fun. All right, there's the airport. I just gotta wait for the bus. Made it to Salt Lake City. All right, here we are. Oh yeah. All right, everyone, as you know, I like to eat dinner 12, at least 12 hours before a race. So that's why I had my dinner back in Denver. And now tonight I had a sandwich, a Cliff Bar, I think it was, and then those roasted peanuts, delicious. Uh, but now tonight at the hotel, I think I'll eat like a, lar a half a lar bar, maybe a piece of fruit just to top it off and um, feeling good going to get the uh, rental car. Oh man, it's exciting. Ooh, I'm glad the sun's not down yet. All right, let's go get the luggage. And we made it, we made it. Okay, this, play, this place is nice. Oh, this is called the Hyatt House. Look at this place. It's like a full on house in here with a fridge. Um, my, this is amazing. This is a hot wire deal. Oh man, look at this room. Holy smokes, couch. This desk here to work on. You've got your bed here, but then you got your TV there. Should we look in the bathroom real quick? You probably don't care about this, but oh man, a walk-in shower. Anyway, everyone, all is well. It's exciting. You just never know who's gonna show up on race day. You gotta come with your A game. You gotta come focused. I have no clue who's gonna be there tomorrow. I know there's gonna be some tough guys and it's gonna 
It's going to be fun. About to go down. I got to call the vlog here. Um, already asked the question of the day. Already gave the keyword, I do believe. And I made it safe. And let's go rock and roll, huh? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we see if we can get that third W of the year? Let's do it, everybody. All right. Two old racing vlogs on the right and the left for you guys to check out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to stop by another vlog. See beauty. Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow.